it's time to dust off your favourite chair and sit in front of the big screen TV. Get a drink in your hand because it's five o'clock somewhere. Your number one host, the Thunder from Down Under, a man on a quest to make money for beer. Can Riley McLean, the hero from the Highlands, take Bromley FC all the way to the Champions League final? Well, let's find out in today's episode of the Youth Edition. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Youth Edition Career Mode here with Bromley FC. We sit in fifth position, it's been a fairly interesting start to FC 25 and this team is just progressing quite normally. Um, we're getting results, we're getting losses, we're getting even scores. We've probably won more games than I thought we would, but um, hopefully we get some gameplay patches uh, in the next couple of weeks that sort of help things out if not then by season two i'll definitely be looking at sliders got four games for you today the transfer window is just open for january we'll have a youth academy report come back so uh yeah sit back relax and let's jump into it we do have a player upgrade in today it is for sigerson it comes from glenn amara baldwin thank you very much for your comment the four thumbs up has won this one number 74 because that's the amount of clubs he was rejected by before Bromley came along that's hilarious loose fit shirt with a turtleneck short socks blue ankle tape and some red and white boots well let's hope he can have some impact for this season because i don't know how far he's going to get in this career mode Right, let's get an upgrade in for De Jong, the left back from the Netherlands. If you want to make any changes to his number or his kit, you know what to do. Down in the comment section, put those changes you want to see. Thumbs up on the ones you like, and we'll get him upgraded in a future episode. Good luck. First game today, we are taking on the MK Dons. They currently sit in second position, a 5-2-3 formation with Tiki Taka football. Right, we are looking a little bit tired, but Barrera will start up top with Ali. Hopefully, uh, I think after this fixture, we will get a Youth Academy influx. We need some more players just to uh, keep the stamina going. It's a little bit crazy. Mason comes in at right back today. Um, yeah, we're, we're very underdone, but let's see what we can do here against the MK Dons. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's Bromley and the MK Dons. And it's a tired Bromley. But we'll see what we can do. Oh my days, three minutes in, Taylor's taken out and he's going to be stretched off here. Let's hope that's not a broken toe, but uh, I didn't even see what happened. It was definitely behind the play. Taylor down, Riley. I'll oh, get a replay here for a quick pass. And that was it. Oh my days, you soft, soft man. Lozano is going to come in at center back. Oh dear. Oh, five minutes in. We've now got a free kick here for the MK Dons. And everything is not working here for Bromley. Because that's in the back of the net. And they're 1-0 down. Oh, the lads look tired. They're wondering why they've been sent out on the pitch. And it's basically because there's no one else, lads. You're going to have to uh, suck it up. And try and find some way to manage this football match. It's a good free kick from what was a handball. It's top ends. Neil couldn't even get close. 1 0. Good from our late. There's a back for Bradshaw. Logan Wallace. Wayne Williams. Young's got himself an injury as well. He works his way here into the box. Tries to lay it off. Bradshaw. Oh, yes! Get in there, Reese. 1 1. Bromley finds a level up. Bradshaw with his fourth goal of the season. Oh, this man won't go down without a fight. He's got that Australian intuition. Get in there. Get hungry. Find yourself a couple of pies. One touch. He did take a bit of a deflection, but that's beaten the keeper. 1-1. One, one. After a good finish from Reese Bradshaw. Big deflection. It was enough to beat the keeper. Lovely stuff. A save from McNeil, but it's a corner for the MK Dons. 24 gone. And definitely having the run of the ball here at the moment. Lots of possession. Looking a lot fresher than what we are, but a good tackle there from Dion. Williams, Wallace, Barrera. Can we get a counter-attack going? There's not a lot of legs to get this counter-attack. And Barrera gets picked out. Oh, what a save from McNeil. That is mega. 
We're going to need some more of that today. And we get a counter attack here through Dwayne Williams. Driving his way forward. Doesn't have much left in the tank, but Ali pushing. Come on, Gilbert. No. Oh, that's a good ball through. McNeil beaten. That's 2 1 MK Dawns. Reinforcements are definitely needed here. And it's really just stamina that is a huge issue here at the moment. These young kids struggling to play two or three games a week, and that's probably to be expected. You're 16, you don't have enough stamina on the pitch or in the bedroom. And that's 2 1 in favor of the MK Dons. Well, that's half time. We're weathering a bit of a storm here, but it's MK Dons 2, Bromley FC 1. For Mason, got the tackle in, feeds it off here for Bradshaw. Bradshaw trying to push forward with that last bit of strength he's got left. Gets around the would be tackler, drives his way in, brings it inside. Ali, not good enough offside. Williams wins it back. Runs Moss, runs Wallace, pulls the trigger from range. A good save from McGillbrake. And now we're gone, and uh, we'll try and freshen things up, but <laughs> it's not very fresh. Sigerson, Luyakin. And Reggie Davis checking in. There's Williams. Moves it forward to Dion. And here's a man that is running on an empty tank. Sigerson. He set something up here. Tries to drift his way through the traffic, but there's no chance you're beating off two men at once. Oh, yeah, Ken. And Ali. I'll play that one through. It's been good defense here from the NK Dons. It is a defeat at home. We lose 2-1. We need reinforcements. Well, they had 62% possession, 11 shots to four. Four saves for McNeil today. Well, Logan Wallace with a 7.2. Williams was good. Bradshaw with the goal. McNeil gets a 6.7. I mean, we're, we're all in the sixes, which is good to see, but uh, we are defeated 2-1. Right, Dave Taylor, he has torn his quad. He is out for three months, and we are down to centre-back. That is a big loss for us. Right then, the Youth Academy reports are in. So let's take a look at how things are travelling. Cutlets, 73 to 79, potential at 14. Still got Barry Anderson here, 43 overall. 63 to 67, potential. Um, yeah, it's not the best, but we're just holding on to him. Teddy Miller, 63 to 75, but only 15. And Hugo Andrew, 81 to 87, only 14. We pick up Dexter Sinclair from Jamaica. 50 overall, 56 to 74 potential. We need players in, so uh, welcome to the senior team. Ubergin is 76 to 94. Greco, 74 to 80. Hodgson, 81 to 87. And from Uruguay, we find a right winger in Valentin Ayala. Uh, it's 58 to 78, 55 overall at the moment. But um, yeah, I guess you're getting a contract. And that was the end of those scouting missions. So I need some fresh countries down below that you want to see us visit in the future. Thumbs up on the ones you like, and we'll get those ones out in a future episode. But today, thank you to Domla Londe 7111. He wants us to go to Canada for a strong middle lumberjack. So I've gone and sent out for a defender center back or a center half holding central defensive midfielder. Uh, H5 has sent us off to Iraq for a goalkeeper. So that could be interesting. We've done any role. And Jack Trainer wants us to go off to Germany for a striker. I've looked for advanced forward and poacher at this stage because they're the two play style instructions that we're using for this formation. So we'll see if we can get back a nice bit of bratwurst for this Bromley team. Second game today, we're taking on third place. It's Barrow. They are a one-star team with a 4-2-3-1 wide formation with standard tactics. Right then, we've had to shuffle things around a little bit here. Uh, Sigerson back up top. Freddie Moss is going to try his art at centre-back with the injury to Taylor, which means Dexter Sinclair makes his debut. Uh, Ayala will also make his debut. We need to get some freshness into this team. Let's see what we can do here against Barrow. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go on the road. It's still a little bit worse for wear. The sun is out as well, which makes things horrific. Let's see if we can somehow find some points today. Wallace. Pass intercepted. Sinclair there gets it through for Ayala. He lays it through. Sigerson on the ball. And it's a finish. Yes, lads. 1-0 Bromley FC. Sigerson on the board for his fourth of the season. Well, we made that from nothing. 
Ayala with a lovely ball through to find Sigurdsson. And the Icelandic man getting the finish here. Just a really good run. Good finish with his new boots. And it's 1-0 to Bromley FC. Barrow with a corner, 38 gone. It's a pretty lifeless fixture at the moment. He's really looking very tired. McNeil under siege. And they get themselves another corner. They're just trying to defend here. It's a 1 0 lead if you can hold on to. Be able to get some points from this one. Williams. Wallace, the captain, holds it up, gives it away. All starting to get a little bit tough here for Bromley. He should be all right at centre back. Here's Sigerson. Gets taken out. Half time. We've got a 1 0 lead. Oh, Jesus, they open this up there. Barrow hits us on the counter attack, and it's 1 1. Maybe a bit of the sun in the eyes there for McNeil, but it doesn't matter. Barrow found a way through. Completely unmarked in the box, and he just slaps it on the volley. Too quick to react. McNeil wasn't. 1 1. Oh, Williams does well to come through. Lays one off for our left. And he's missed. Oh, once again, we'll try and freshen things up a little bit if we can. Lozano, Davis, Bradshaw, and Mason checking in. Well, there's the full-time whistle. It is 1-1. Somehow, we get a draw. It was a boring game. Seven shots to three. They had the possession. Two saves for McNeil. Performance-wise, Williams gets a 7.8. Sinclair on debut, a 7.1. Was serviceable. Ayala, an assist on a debut. Nice to see. Uh, we're just... You know, when we're tired, we have no attacking threat. Time for game number three. We're taking on 22nd place, Newport County. They are a one-star team, a 5-3-2 holding with wing play. Right, they're trying to freshen the team up a little bit. It's been five days since the last fixture, but that obviously affects the sharpness. Um, yeah, we'll make do with what we've got. Uh, Freddie Moss still there at centre-back, but let's see if we can get some points here on the road. It is raining. Right, ladies and gentlemen, Newport County, Bromley FC. We're uh, off to Wales today. Let's see if we can get some points on the road. Tackle from Wallace, Sinclair to Williams. The Jamaicans combining. It's almost a bobsled team. Cool runnings. There's Bradshaw. There's just nowhere to go here at the moment. Wallace makes us some space. Feeds it forward. Can't get it through to Sigerson. Five at the back for Newport County. Newport County with the corner, 26 minutes gone. Good save from McNeil, but starting to come under pressure. Can get away here. Ali to Logan Wallace. We have to set it up now for Bartlett. Is it inside for Bradshaw? And he has the tenaciousness to try and take it on, and they take him out. That'll be a free kick. No, Bradshaw says, fuck it, we're going to keep playing. The Australian taken out by Thomas. Oh, what a save from McNeil. Brilliant stuff. And Sinclair comes away. Logan Wallace feeds it forward. Bradshaw going again. He's got to make a break here. Bradshaw pushes inside. Has Ali. Lays it off. Has Sigerson. Get in. 1-0 Bromley. Route 1 football. And Sigerson on the board again. His fifth goal of the season. Oh, some lovely Route 1 football from Bromley FC. And Sigerson making the most, cashing in on the opportunity. Pass from Gilbert Ali. A really good finish from Sigerson. It's 1 0 for Bromley. Tackle from Kramer. Sinclair slips it off. Ali out to Bradshaw. He's been everywhere here in the first half. Tried to lay it off for Sigerson. Picked out. And there's the whistle for half time. Bromley with the lead. 1 0. Wallace to Williams. Dwayne Williams pushing himself forward. Gets around the would-be tackler. Lays it off. Sigerson takes his man on beautifully. Sigerson, what a save. Oh, lovely from McNeil. He's got off his line there brilliantly. Sigerson lays it through. Here comes the counter-attack. 
Wayne Williams, the Jamaican, takes his man on. Still goes Williams. Can he get a shot away? Yes, he can. It's 2 0 Bromley. Top pins finish for Williams. That'll be his second goal of the season. And Newport County is on the bottom of the table. And Bromley showing that they've got a little bit about them. They just needed some rest. Good finish. Good run from Williams. Sharpness isn't everything. I think stamina is more important here at the moment. Being able to run out of game. 2 0 Bromley. Tackle for Eddie Moss. Gets it out to Williams again. Plays it forward for Sigurds. It takes on the defense. Oh, that's got to be a free kick. Referee. Not 2 0 up. Let's make some changes here. Five, in fact. <laughs> We're just trying to get this team to be as fresh as it can. Late corner for Newport County. A clean sheet would be fucking lovely. Delivered deep. Oh, yes, McNeil. Brings it forward quickly. Sinclair finds Ayala. That's the fresh legs. Takes his man on. Works his way forward. Needs Lozano in the box. Decides to go over the top now for the big man. Lozano. Oh, straight at the keeper. Oh, there's the whistle. The ref cuts him off at the pass. It's a 2-0 clean sheet for Bromley FC. Not fairly even possession, seven shots to five, four saves for McNeil. What's oh, Kramer getting a man of the match? 8.5, nine tackles attempted with a 56% success rate. Decent. Final game today sees us back in the BDSM trophy. A 4-3-3 flat formation for Stevenage. They're a two-star team and they use wing play. All right, then we'll get some rotations going here. Barrera and Lozano, Ayala, Noyakin, Mason and Davis all checking in today. It's wet again. We'll see what we can do. All right, here we go. The BDSM Trophy, Bromley and a two-star Stevenage. Can we make something out of this one? Stamina is up a little. Oh, straight past McNeil. Stevenage takes 18 minutes to make it 1-0. Well, we'll have our work cut out for us, even if it's uh, definitely a stronger side in the wet here. We just pushed past our defensive line. Freddie Moss really not settled in this role at all. And McNeil was not ready. 1-0. It's Mason. It's Noyakin. Moss his way forward, but can't cut through. Somehow gets the ball back. That's fighting for it. Ayala finds Lozano. He's just got no footwork. Mayakin does well. Pereira lays this one off. Here is Lozano! Pressure from Bromley. And big Lozano gets the finish. His fifth goal of the season. It's 1-1 here in this BDSM trophy fixture against Stevenage. The fans love Big Lozano. It was the hard work of Noyak in there that really fundamentally led to the chance. Lozano finishes it. Bread and butter for him. 1 1. Ayala. Long searching ball. Big Lozano. Out in front. Holds up the play beautifully. Brings it inside. Barrera gets the touch. Dodges and weaves his way through the traffic. Somehow comes away with it. Finds Ayala. Lays it back here for Noyakit. Sinclair to Mason. He can push forward here. Australian playing in the midfield. Works his way in. Works the keeper. Come on, lads. Good read from Bartlett. He pushes his way forward here. Lays it inside. Barrera has big Lozano. Oh, unlucky. Half time, 1 1. Look for Noyakin. Tries to take his man on. Noyakin! Oh, finish! Get in, Noyakin! The Mongolian winger finds his first goal. He's got a bit of a power shot in him. Jesus. That had some whip. Loses the sidebar, and it's 2 1. Bromley FC. Things you love to see. Oh, played through. Great work from McNeil off his line. 
Oh, pushes forward. It's the big man in the box. Seems to try and bring it in here for Barrera. He'll be picked out. Ayala. Into the box. Noyakin. Oh, he's got his second. It's 3 1 Bromley. And the young Mongolian is turning himself into a man to be reckoned with. 3 1 Bromley FC. Noyakin's having a field day here in the wet. He's just popping up in the right time. Ayala puts it in. Noyakin says thanks for coming. Maybe he is a number nine. 3 1 Bromley. Oh, Kramer, that is solid defending. Comes away through Sinclair. And Bromley really getting on top here. Out wide, Ayala again, starting to cause some issues out on the outside with his speed. Drives his way forward. Can he look here for Big Lozano? Picked out, finds Barrera. He's picked off. Steveniger all over the show here defensively. Oh, straight past McNeil. Kramer couldn't affect that one. 3 2, 10 minutes to go. It's game on in this BDSM trophy fixture. Oh, these young lads don't know what a beard is, but this man definitely has a fine specimen on his face. Half man, half rug. He's got the finish there. 3 2. Injury time. Steven is trying to find a way forward here. Freeman. Gets on through. There's Kemp. Laid it off. And McNeil makes the save. Late corner here for Stevenage. BDSM trophy. And Bromley get the biscuits. That's lifted. Here's the header. Lozano off the line. Header comes in again. McNeil! What the fuck was that, lad? Stevenage gets the equaliser late in this one. Well, Lozano did all the hard work, got it off the line for McNeil, but he was fucking asleep. And Stevenage finds a way back into this fixture. 3-3. Set piece in the death. McNeil, where are you? Nowhere near where he needed to be. He's completely wrong-footed. He's dived way too early as well. Not known for his diving, McNeil. Oh dear. Well, we go to penalties. This could be dangerous. Barrera steps up. Oh, and it's fucking saved. Come on, McNeil. Oh, you went the right way, you bell end. All right, Noyakit. Down the middle. Come on, McNeil. We need a save here. Reed. He's going this way. Oh, dive! You useless bum! Ayala. Down the middle. Cool as a cucumber. McNeil, we need something here. Yes! McNeil makes a save. Big Lozano. Can he sort something out? Oh, he's hit the fucking sidebar. Oh, McNeil! Oh, Bartlett. Good luck. Oh, it slid it in. McNeil needs to save this one to keep us alive. Don't like his chances. We're going right. Oh, he's going down the middle. It's fucking game over. Stevenage comes from nowhere. Shit camera angle. It wasn't meant to be in the BDSM trophy. To be fair, we do need less games. And it was a valiant effort from the lads. We're out. Not Stevenage with possession. Nine shots to six. And fortunately, we go down on penalties. 120 minutes. There was no extra time there, sir. All of the man of the match. Perfect 10 from Noyak. And wasn't enough to get us through. Lozano got a goal. Two assists for Barrera. Nice to see. And Ayala, another assist. He's only just come in from the academy. We didn't make changes. And unfortunately, that might have cost us.
Right then, and that is where we will finish today's episode. Still alive in this transfer window. Uh, we sit in fourth position, 41 points. So uh, we're doing all right in the league. And now we're out of the cups. So that's probably gives us uh, a chance to regain some of that stamina and see what we can do for the remainder of this season. We'll get some more academy players back. It's all about development this season. It's not really about promotion. I mean, normally we're sitting last. So uh, interesting stuff unfolding, I guess. We'll just see how this one still plays out. Thank you for joining me today. We'll see you in the next video. I'm Sparring DK. It's five o'clock somewhere and you have a good one. The Sparring DK channel now has Patreon. And if you feel like just going that little extra step to help, uh, you know, the channel grow, you can go across to the website, pledge your allegiance to myself. And uh, for $1 a month, you're basically putting it in a jar and allowing for us to go and buy some more beers and record some more beer drinking episodes. Thank you very much to the current lads that have gone ahead and supported the channel. Absolutely tremendous to see anybody willing just to give that $1 a month at this stage. I cannot thank you from the bottom of my heart. You, you really will make a difference in the future. So jump across there if you're that way inclined to the Patreon channel. Sign up today and we'll see if we can get some extra beer drinking episodes for you at home. Now, if you are looking for some more content, we've got a couple of videos. One here, one here. And if you want to subscribe, there's a button right there. So go ahead, subscribe, and you'll be notified when the videos go live. Make sure you put on that notifications bell. We'll see you next time.